this video I want to look at the notebook software again um, more specifically I want to look at how we can use PDF files and how we can modify those PDF files so I've started open board I've got the notebook software open um, I'm gonna go to documents there's a few things here I've, that I've played with previous things so let's just trash those we don't want to don't need those now that one there we go so we'll import um, a PDF file so go to import I've got a question paper here I'm going to import and I can have a look at these pages I can go through and um, if there's some bits that I want the students to, uh, to to consider I might decide to sort of highlight something or I might uh, I might use a text editor and I might type some model answers in just to give the students an idea so just some as a, as a working document so if I want to remove pages I don't want to see them I can trash a page but I think I'll leave this for the moment um, the feature I really like is the ability to add extra content into this PDF file so I'm going to do add and I'm going to add page from another file and I'm going to bring in the mark scheme so I'm going to import that one as well so now I've got the page now I don't need let's have a look at some of these pages not really bothered about that page there so I think I'll I'll get rid of that page so it's uh, documents I don't want that page there so I can I can trash that page I can trash the end page I don't need that but this page here this has got me some details on the marking so I'm gonna want that and if I just flick through the pages here's the answers to question one so this is on that page six so what I can do so I don't have to keep things in the same order I can take the bit from question one I can move it and I can place it after question one so I've got question one now followed by the responses for question one I might decide for example that the information we had here about um, high low mark bounds I might decide that's better off at the end of the document so those two pages there so I might decide I think I'll keep those but I'll put those at the end talk to the students about them at the end and then I can put in there's some more marking boundaries information I think that's part of uh, the first question so I shall follow that through so I can shuffle this stuff about uh, I can do exactly what I want with it so here we got uh, here's the next part and if I want to think well okay what's the key piece to this bit well make sure you've talked about the different acts there we go and then I can look where's the answer to that bit so we can see here's the answer bit so that's actually in the wrong place so I can move that and place it after that so once I've shuffled it about and done what I want and I say I can add additional things so if I want to add images or a folder of images that's fine once I've got it to a point where I want to um, I'm happy with it I can export it and I can export this as a PDF file which I'll just do as a quick test to show you so desktop um, I'll call it uh, full paper I don't want to accidentally overwrite something so I can export that so it's going to export it out as all 30 pages but it will export it out with the annotation included so let's just wait for that to finish exporting and we shall have a look to get that off the desktop There's the full paper. Okay, so you'll see I've got the answers cut in, I've got the highlighting, so I've exported that as a full paper. I can also, when I do my exports, uh, export as the open board format, which I think is really useful because if you export as an open board format, you can import that into somebody else's board and they can just carry on working and making the changes um, to that board. So that's a really nice feature I think of using PDF files with open board uh, in the next video we'll look at some of the more interactive features we can include into the open board software